Welcome friends, in this video let's discuss about services provided by biodiversity and threats to biodiversity. This video is useful for mains examination rather than prelims. So let's look at the services provided by biodiversity. Broadly, there are three important services provided by biodiversity. This includes ecological services, biological services and social services. First, let's look at the ecological services. Biodiversity provides water resources to the human beings for, for, for their survival. This includes ecosystem sorry the biodiversity includes aquatic ecosystem as well and the tall trees and grasses present nearby the aquatic ecosystem helps in filtering of the water thereby making that fit for human consumption so this is one of the service provided by the biodiversity and soil formation and protection so biodiversity includes varied organisms ranging from uh, ranging from microorganisms like bacteria fungi actinomycetes and small organisms like earthworms small insects okay and these components of biodiversity helps in the soil formation okay by creating humus okay and after formation it also helps in the protection of the soil for example the grasses which grow on the soil top layer of the soil helps preventing the soil erosion so different components of biodiversity helps in the soil formation and protection and the third the function is nutrient recycling and storage here the tall plants tall trees has deeper uh, deeper root system which helps in recycling of the nutrients which are present in the deeper layer of the earth uh, and helps that to bring to the top layer by absorption of the nutrients okay and at the same time various leguminous plants which have root nodules and in that root nodules the rhizobium bacteria is present and that rhizobium bacteria absorbs the nitrogen atmospheric nitrogen and fixes the atmospheric nitrogen so in in this way the biodiversity helps in nutrient cycling and storage okay and next function is pollution pollutant break, breakdown and absorption so the complex organic pollutants are broken down by various microorganisms like bacteria and fungi and these broken down pollutants are absorbed by the living plants okay so this helps in removing the pollutants which are present in the ecosystem so this is one of the important function and the fourth function fifth function is that of the contribution to climate stability we know that forest forests are the sink to carbon dioxide these are all the reservoirs of the carbon dioxide they absorb the carbon dioxide for the photosynthesis so in this way they help in reducing the global warming and forests are also a medium for carbon dioxide sequestration that is storage of the carbon dioxide and the next function is maintenance of ecosystem balance so this biodiversity is part of the ecosystem they help in the maintenance of balance okay and the next function is recovery from unpredictable events not the form here it's from recovery from unpredictable events like destruction of forest uh, through floods earthquakes forest fires okay cyclones so in such event the biodiversity helps in the ecological succession for example if this this patch of forest uh, is dis destroyed due to forest fire or anything and nearby biodiversity provides the planting material seed material for the ecological succession of this, this area so these are all the ecosystem services provided by the biodiversity next is biological services it provides food source for the human beings for the survival here the most important thing is that 100% of the food comes from the nature okay 100% of the food comes from nature itself we do not produce any synthetic food okay this is the single most important use of biodiversity and next is it provides medicinal resources and pharmaceutical drugs and at present even uh, with the present advanced age we source 50% of the material from the 50% of the chemical medicines are based on the nature okay and next is wood products for example for furniture for building ships okay for, for, for what not for a, for various purposes we use the wood products like timbering okay and next is ornamental plants the the orchid that are growing in your garden are from the forest and various ornamental plants are sourced from the biodiversity and next is breeding stocks and population reservoirs here uh, that the improved varieties of rice wheat uh, barley tomato carrot potato and various other uh, the cultivated crops has their wild counterparts in the forests 
So these wild counterparts have useful genetic resources which help them in the future breeding program. Okay, and if you want to breed the climate resistant, that is the temperature temperature resistant and water resistant varieties of rice, you have to go back to eastern Himalayas. Okay, eastern Himalayas and and western and eastern Ghats for the genetic material which are resistant to that that factors. Okay, so they have the genetic resources for the future breeding program as well and the future resources are also present in biodiversity and biodiversity has diversity in genes species and ecosystem so this also helps in meeting the any unforeseen consequences of the future so these are the biological services provided by the biodiversity and next is social services okay social services in the area of research and education we can study the ecosystem and understand our origin and survival capabilities okay and the new science called biomimicking for example studying the natural system like uh, uh, the way the insect flies okay uh, the way how the insects utilize the thermodynamics for flying that can be imitated for designing aircrafts okay for designing bombers so this is the biomimicking Mimic, mimicking the biological biological processes to design new products so this is the new science so it provides social services as well and next is tourism so tourism we know that wildlife sanctuaries national parks provide recreation for the uh, city folks who are and next is cultural values so most of the tribes in india uh, believe that believe that the forests are their gods okay there are certain patches within the forest are considered as very sacred these places are called sacred grooves these are worshipped by the tribals as gods okay so this also fulfills the religious needs of the human beings uh, one example is devavana daivavana so these are uh, present in the western god western god of the india and certain tribes uh, consider some of the animal species for example tortoise or any form of fish or tiger as their ancestors so they believe that they trace their ancestry from those animal species so this this phenomenon is called totemism okay so they worship those species and they protect those species from extinction and they help in the reproduction of those species so this also provides the the religious function as well for the human beings so these are all the services provided by the biodiversity next is the causes for the loss of biodiversity we, we all know that i'm listing only uh, the important things here the earthquakes flooding landslides uh, competition between the species invasive species and diseases here invasive species i would like to give one example lantern camera it is a shrub which uh, which grow uh, at the low uh, at the base level of the uh, soil okay so it, it forms a complete mat on the soil surface it prevents the other uh, plants to grow so since uh, the various herbivores like rabbit deer uh, do not have the capacity to, to di digest these 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 shrubs so they die uh, because of starvation so this is the effect of invasive species in turn uh, because of lesser number of deer species other carnivores also suffer, suffer like a tiger a tiger leopard and lion because of the shortage of food so this is the effect of invasive species and diseases for example rinder pest which attacks the cattle uh, also attacks the wild buffaloes so this is one of the causes for uh, losses of biodiversity and next man-made causes including deforestation destruction of the habitat for mining uh, industrialization and establishing uh, rail railway routes and road routes and unsustainable exploitation of medicinal plants timbering and other forest resources, conservation of forest land to agriculture, industry and residential purposes, extensive agriculture, okay, uh, and use of uh, pollutants, pollutants like uh, use of excessive fertilizers and runoff and resulting eutrophication in the water bodies and thereby reducing biodiversity. These are all the causes and effect of pollutants, as I mentioned earlier, and unsustainable use of coastal areas leading to coastal erosion and death of the uh, death of coral reefs. And these are all the man-made causes for the uh, reduction of the biodiversity. So thank you, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.